you give tips in the book on how uh, single women should hook up at a wedding. Yes. Now, is that something that, or, and I, I guess that's something some women think about, right? They're at a wedding, it's the thoughts in the air, maybe some guys too. Yeah, I mean, I think that guys at weddings have a pretty easy get laid gimmick, which is, uh, you know, the flower girl. If you can secure her to dance on your feet, women will be like, oh my God, he wants to be a daddy. But it doesn't work that way for women. Like, if I danced with a ring bearer, people would be like, oh, Jamie has such a little dance partner. Like, they would never right. be like, wow, she looks like wife material, because it doesn't work that way. Yeah, so in the book, we talk about different, um, different uh, tips. And one of them for me, I think, is like, you know, uh, like a bridesmaid, maybe two bridesmaids dance together so it instills in the guy's mind like, ooh, three-way. You know what I mean? Like it gets a little spicier. Or maybe like a bridesmaid dances with a grandpa to show that, you know, she's into older guys. And the reason that works is because then her, her potential catch could feel boyish in comparison and feel the need to demonstrate that he too has the uh, classic American masculinity of a World War II vet. So, <laughs> you know, um, and if Do all little, women put this much thought into it? I put a lot of thought into it, Conan. Yeah, okay. Um, another one that's really fun, it's a little extreme, but bear with me, is just like fake a choking. You know what I mean? Like fake that you're choking or fake a fainting right next to a groomsman and then he'll be like, oh my God, I have to save her. And you're not a damsel in distress, you're just a woman with an agenda. Yeah. <laughs> I think you've helped a lot of people Thank with this appearance. You. Thank I really you. do think you've helped people. <laughs>